to our satellite link where we can talk with Dr. Claire Dubois of Stanford, an expert in ant behavior. Tell us, Doctor. What is happening? Well, it's probably because these ants have been subjected to some kind of disturbance, a mining or excavation work. Basically, they're territorial, and they will react with aggression if they feel like they're being attacked. Ants communicate by trading chemical signals called pheromones between the touches of their antennae. Their eyesight is poor, but all intruders to the colony are immediately detectable by their smell. So, these guys are smart? Yeah, I mean, the chemical language they use, it, it's remarkable. In the case of Echiton bocellii on a feeding rate, it, it's responsible for coordinating the behavior of up to a million individuals. It has been estimated that an ant brain has a processing power of a small computer. It makes you wonder what we could learn if we could somehow strip away our own technology and meet with them on equal ground. We human beings struggle to understand the motives of even a single suicide bomber. What the hell does she know about suicide bombers? Here we see thousands of ants deliberately drowning themselves to build the foundations for what can only be called a bridge. Are you gonna let her get away with that crap? May I introduce the man brought here to deal with the situation? Thank you, Joe. It's a very, uh, interesting presentation, Dr. Dubois, but we do part company when you fantasize that a swarm of army ants is some kind of Mardi Gras marching society. It's not. It's just a big ball of instinct. Dr. Horace Leonard, CEO of Thorax Industries, former colleague... And now world leader in the wholesale slaughter of insects. You're telling these people bedtime stories. Do you know what happens when we strip away our technology and meet on equal ground? They eat us. And if you don't believe me, please, come to Bantau and see for yourself. 
spray gun in hand. Don't leave camp without it. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, thank you, Dr. Leonard. Thank you. And we're out. Thank you. Excuse me. So, did you have your fun? Dr. Claire Dubois. When did you arrive? Flew in yesterday. Deploying tomorrow. How's it look? Mostly rainforest, rubber plantations, plus a few casualties. You know, I could always use the world's leading hymenopterist in my truck. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think I'd fit in with your crew. <laughs> Come on, my crew's like a family. They love you almost as much as I love you already. Maybe we can have dinner sometime. Sure. I'll speak to you soon. Okay. Okay, people, let's liquefy some uh, endoskeletons. Okay, guys, we have to solve this problem. All of our industry are on hold. We cannot allow tourists on the island. This time, there are even more of them than our first estimate. Larger than 2001. Larger than 2001. That swarm in 2001 destroyed this island economically for two years. The locals are saying this time ants are different. Different? 
How? More aggressive? Yeah, more aggressive. Ants killing humans in large numbers is almost unheard of. The number of casualties here probably exceeds the total from all previously recorded incidents. Yeah, more aggressive. But also picking their battles. Okay, let me show you. Um, today when they retreated across the fire dish, usually the ants just keep coming until you light it. But today they stopped short, almost like they knew the fire was coming. Do you see what I mean? You set out a pretty good line of defense. This plantation here, it's been stripped. Everything is gone. Okay, well, <clears throat> we're gonna have to force them back onto this barren ground. So Cortez, you and the army are gonna head straight right up the middle. Bill and I will do a right flank and we'll force them into a pincer. You hired the right guy, sir. We're gonna get this done now. Communication check. This is Bill. You read me? Good helmet image. Switch to POV. POV images good across the board. Hey, Cortez, your GPS is down. Uh, I think it would help if I turned it on. Sorry. Climate <laughs> team telemetry shows lots and loads. Let's roll, people. So while you and Cortez are moving up north, we're gonna soften up that central mass with aerials. Every ant poison kills every ant it touches and so on. Domino effect. All set? Any questions? Let's go. How's it looking out there, Deb? Imagery is good. Recorders are running. Go again, you're breaking up. Cortez still got his hands full. Damn it, I ought to be there with him. Stick to the plan, Bill. We can think ahead. It's one of our advantages. 